Hi, I'm Liz and today on You Volunteer, I'm going to talk about embarrassing photos. So I've taken my fair share of embarrassing photos, including one of me wrestling a gator in Florida, adding a sibling to the family in the form of a chimpanzee, And of course there's beautiful bad hair and I think those are most of my embarrassing photos. So one of my bad hair photos comes with a story. So my mom had arranged for us to have our photos taken uh, by a professional photographer. I think he was coming into her bank to do headshots and so the bank offered for people to do family pictures. And my mom decided to uh, get my sister and I, uh, you know, some new photos. Took us to her hairdresser and asked him to work his magic and take pictures. Now, when the pictures came back from the photographer, my mother's reaction was, oh dear, these need to be burned. At least I think that's what she said, because I guess we hadn't realized how majestic our hair was in the photo. And certainly our matching outfits were just dashing as well. So that photo I don't think ever really went on display. Now I will say that we have forgiven my mother for dressing us up like 35 year old secretaries. And of course that picture has become a funny family memory. So now that I've shared that terribly embarrassing photo of me being six going on 36. What kind of photos uh, do you hide from people or delete? Uh, do you think that the digital world has actually made it easier or more difficult for us to hide embarrassing photos? If someone who never takes a bad photo is Pussycat and he would like to remind you to like this video with a thumbs up and to comment below if you have any funny bad picture stories and uh, subscribe to you volunteer. He's going off to do that right now. Bye-bye.